to experts locally about what this means when it comes to contact sports now and moving forward. In February of 2021, former Bucks wide receiver Vincent Jackson was found dead in a Tampa hotel room. The public later learning Jackson died by suicide. I had been telling the kids and letting them know that dad was really sick and he's, he's going to get better and he's going to be back. And here they are in our living room and telling us that's not the case. Lindsay Jackson, Vincent's wife, tearfully told ABC News Thursday details leading up to his death, including their growing concerns over his mental health. He shared with me once that um, alcohol made him feel calm and made him feel like himself and that his brain was really fuzzy and that this made it not fuzzy. After he passed, Lindsay donated his brain to researchers at Boston University's CTE Center. Today, doctors announced Jackson had stage two CTE, a progressive brain disease caused by repetitive head trauma. It all made sense. He didn't know he had it. And I think had he known, he wouldn't have felt so ashamed or alone. No one should have to die in a room by himself. Symptoms of CTE can include aggression, impulsivity, depression, anxiety, paranoia, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts. Much of what we know about CTE comes from this a researcher in, in Boston. And most of those brains that are studied are sent by families who suspect that their, that their loved one had some kind of abnormality associated with playing a sport or with, with multiple head injuries. Dr. Patrick Mulleroney, the medical director of sports medicine at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, says the NFL has made big changes based on that research, like taking a football player out of a game if they've suffered or may have suffered a concussion. What we see with individuals with concussion is that if they get hit again while they have concussion symptoms, they tend to have much worse symptoms and more prolonged symptoms because of that second hit or those multiple hits. I get a lot from parents, well, how many concussions until I take them out forever? And we don't have that number. You know, nobody has that number. Dr. Dusty Marie Narducci, the team physician for USF, says that message is being passed down to kids getting into the sport. She says they're making big changes at USF, too. They have watchers that sit at the top of the stadium to look for players who look off or uneasy on their feet and make sure to radio that in to someone on the field. Just kind of bringing awareness that it's okay to come out of the game. It's okay to put yourself first, have a little self-compassion, and then you'll come back even stronger. We've posted more from Boston University on our website, abcactionnews.com. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.